How's everybody doing? Yeah. Beautiful day out there today, huh? Beautiful day today. Well, you guys did it. Had a great week of camp. Jason's back again today, and I think there's a few more parents than the last time we were up here. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more. I've got some questions for Jason. We're gonna talk a little bit about what really we've been talking about to the, a lot of the campers, the parents around here, really all week. Um, and I know you guys may, uh, some of you campers may have a couple questions for Jason, and we'll even ask that some of the parents have some baseball-related questions as well. So uh, first thing I want to I want to say is just a big round of applause and a big thank you for, for the captain of the ball. Jason's actually he's one of those rare athletes that graduated from college, got his degree before he went on to throw ball. And I know education's an important part. Of it. Yeah. It's an important part of what he believes in, so we're going to kind of lead into that. Jason Harrison. Yeah, I am for very, very fortunate in the fact that I have graduated. But I can't say it was uh, it was the easiest road to get there. And uh, I had to have a lot of circumstances with when I was drafted, go back to school a few times to actually get finished. But there's one thing that the important thing about it is you play in pro baseball outside of college. You play with a lot of people that may not even have a GED from high school. They, uh, very, very different educations, very different, different ways of life, and you know, there's less than two percent of two percent of all people who play professional baseball actually make it to the big leagues. And then there's like of that two percent of the two percent of people that stay in the big leagues for an extended period of time, it's less than one percent to be in there for more than five years. So. You know, those statistics are thrown out and you're like, well, I don't really care. I'm going to be a part of the 2% and the 2%. Well, in my case, I've been, a, been very lucky. I've probably played at every level with guys that are better than me, more talented than me, uh, just, just overall, or just didn't get a break, or didn't get seen by the right people. And such a big part of that is is being in the right place at the right time and having favor. And and so a lot of these different guys that I played with throughout, whether it be high school, little league, all the way on up, that when it comes down to it, you know, I'm fortunate that I've been able to stick. But if I don't stick, the most important thing is something that I carry in my wallet. And to, you know, you can walk out and get injured tomorrow, today, and throughout all this, hold on. There's, um, oh, that's not a whole lot more. There's something when we graduate from Georgia Tech, Georgia Institute of Technology, they give you a pocket diploma. So it just doesn't for you to they will want you to be reminded that you don't forget what you've accomplished and what you're a part of. Baseball can be taken away from me in an instant. And I'm getting a little older and it's probably going to be taken away from me sooner than it is later. But really, everybody has to really understand and value and understand how important your education is. And baseball's going to go away, whether it's baseball, football, soccer, or whatever. It's going to go away. We all have an expiration date, and we all have a shelf life, and it's going to go away, but your education won't. And it doesn't matter what happens on the field, I can come back at night and know I have this to fall back on. And I think that that's a very big thing you guys, need to, guys and girls need to understand. 